Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nikon and every week on this channel I post cool stuff about video production, acting and I give you tips and tricks on how to be more productive, more consistent and more efficient making videos for YouTube. Today I'm going to make a pretty cool video about this two MacBooks. So this one is a MacBook uh, i9 from 2019 and this one is a MacBook Pro M2 Max chip uh, from 2023. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to put them side by side and compare them and see how much faster is the M2 Max compared to the i9. So this one here obviously is uh, the M2 Max with the notch over here, obviously the camera notch. And this is my i9 2019, uh, the last model with the Intel chip. Obviously this is a silicon chip, M2 Max, pretty fast. I mean, the price difference between them is, uh, well, I, I paid for this one two grand and a half and this one is three grand and a half. So 1000 more on the M2 Max. Right, so let's start the test. We're gonna do um, the first one. We're gonna uh, turn them off all together. All right, so we're gonna turn them off, uh, shut down, shut down, and let's see what's gonna happen. Three, two, one, action. Okay. So they're prompted with this message here, shut down, reopen the windows when logging in, reopen windows, okay, let's reopen the windows. Right, shut down, shut down, three, two, one, shut down. So this one, well, basically identical results. Pretty impressive, okay? Remarkable, okay, so identical results on shutting down, but um, you also have to understand that both uh, MacBooks are sort of like a factory reset. There's not a lot of things on it right now. Say, you could say they're both sort of brand new. Okay, so let's turn them on. Uh, so we're turning them on at the same time. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so the M2 Max, um, the logo appeared first. You can see actually the, the, the contrast on the screen. This is very contrasty. Yeah, we've got the, the signing in page now and we're still waiting on the i9. It's about five seconds um, behind. Okay, let's put the password. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's press enter and see what's gonna happen. Okay. All right, so here actually the i9 was much faster. I've got the U-turn opened. Uh, let's close this one. Yeah, the i9 was much faster. Now it's, it's pretty even, I would say. Probably like less than a second this one uh, was uh, behind. Let's go a little bit further now and compare them when opening Final Cut Pro, uh, DaVinci Resolve and Photoshop. Right, I'm very excited. Let's go. Uh, okay, so, uh, right, let's go and open uh, Final Cut Pro on both of these machines. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, on my M2 Max, straight away, it's on. On my i9, it's still thinking. So, <laughs> you see the native um, Final Cut uh, Pro on both of these machines. This was about five to seven seconds um, behind from the M2 Max, but obviously this one has 38 gigabytes of uh, unified memory compared to my i9, which has only 16 gigabytes of RAM. But at the time, this was actually a very powerful machine with a 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM and uh, an Intel i9 core. Now what I'm interested in now actually is uh, DaVinci Resolve because I do a lot of work in DaVinci Resolve and the reason why I'm uh, switching or upgrading to a M2 Max is because I do a lot of video production, I do a lot of editing and I need a powerful machine. That's why I'm switching and upgrading actually for from my i9 to M2 Max. Right, let's see uh, DaVinci Resolve now, how fast they are. Three, two, one, go. DaVinci Resolve on my M2 Max, both thinking, 
both thinking. Okay. Well, that's that's interesting. Okay. It's on on my M2 Max. Okay, ready to go on my M2. Ready, and I still have two projects here. And on my i9, still thinking, still loading some stuff, still loading, still loading, still loading. The i9, DaVinci Resolve, quite slow. And I have to say, I don't have any projects on my i9 because as I said, I'm gonna sell it and I had to delete everything and reset it with the factory settings. So that's why um, this one is much slower and I would say it was about 10-15 seconds slower on DaVinci Resolve 18 and actually this is the reason why I'm switching from i9 to the Silicon M2 Max because on DaVinci Resolve this was this here was very very slow the i9 right okay so we saw DaVinci Resolve on Intel chips sucks and actually, Apple says that the M2 Max is about 80% faster than the Intel chips. Well, I'm not sure about that, but um, it is faster. Now, what we need to check is Photoshop. So, three, two, one, go. Okay, already started here. Done. First page opened. This one is still thinking. Is still thinking, is still thinking and here it is finally on so yeah much slower on the i9 which was absolutely obvious um i'm not going into editing i have a few pictures here and i have a few pictures here as well um so yeah i would say about 10 seconds behind um on fauna shop so which was probably a fair result obviously if you want more cool videos like this then you know leave a comment below um, if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful then please give this video a thumbs up it really helps the channel and uh, you know we're here to create a cool community we're here to grow together and uh, you know if you have any questions just leave them below i'll be very very happy to answer them uh, but uh, yeah in in, mean, in meantime um what can i say the final conclusion is is pretty simple this one is a beast of the computer this one is good this one is good. The i9 with 16 gigabytes of RAM is really good, but it's just a bit slow. It is slow, and if you are, if the time is precious, then then just work hard, make some more money, and get the M2 Max, which is, as they say, 80% faster than the i9. Well, I'm not quite sure if it's 80% faster in the real world but it's definitely, I would say, at least 50% 50, 50 faster than the i9. And uh, the playback on the M2 Max is insane. It plays so smoothly. This one was a bit staggering and it was a bit annoying. It didn't play really well, you know, and it was losing a lot of frames, especially in DaVinci Resolve editing. But the M2 Max is just a beast of the computer. It's so, so nice and it's so easy to work. And uh, I know, uh, it costs a lot of money, but if you buy it in installments and pay every month for 12 months, it's about $300. So if you can afford that, then definitely go for installments. And uh, if you're making money on YouTube, then, you know, this is something to go for. This is a goal, you know, and uh, this will motivate you to, to work harder, to make more beautiful videos and, uh, you know, improve your um, um, production value. I guess yeah because you have to be better uh, and you will be better <laughs> using this sort of uh, machines anyway friends thanks so much for watching I hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, I will see you in the next one with more cool features and tests see you soon bye bye